Well, we've been telling you about Democrats' plan to expand the IRS with nearly 90,000 new agents. What could possibly go wrong? Well, now one of those federal job postings is raising eyebrows. According to the IRS website itself, if you're looking for a job, you would read this one and it would say that new special agents must be able to legally carry a firearm and, if necessary, you've got to be willing to use deadly force at the IRS. Now, I would expect that for the CIA, but the IRS ca catches me by surprise, so let's bring in Mike Baker. He used to do that for a living. Mike, are you surprised the IRS wants you armed and willing to use that firearm? <laughs> well, I think given, given the idea of the IRS expansion, maybe the, the optics of that job posting are not particularly good. Uh, look, what they're talking about here are the special agents who work within the criminal investigations element of the IRS. It's a relative, right now, it's a relatively small operation. Right. There's about 2,000 of them. Uh, they've got 20 some odd offices in the U.S. and, and some overseas postings. Uh, and they're looking to expand that group, obviously, along with everything else, apparently, that the IRS is going to do. Now, these special agents uh, have really unique uh, abilities, unchallenged abilities to collect uh, tax data, financial information, uh, oftentimes, I guess, in support of larger criminal investigations. Uh, but much like everything else the government does, the messaging is off, right? Yeah. You, do you really need in your job posting to say willing to use deadly force to collect your tax data? <laughs> right, uh, especially, yes. especially after everything that's happened this week. Uh, so the spokesperson for the IRS uh, is denying that it was ever deleted. The, the, the posting was there yesterday morning, and then we couldn't find it yesterday afternoon. It's back up right now. We were able to find it right before we had you on. And this is what the spokesperson says. The IRS criminal investigation special agent job announcement continues to be open on USA Jobs and has not, was not taken down. USA Jobs is where these positions are posted and where applicants are referred to in order to apply. The announcement has been open since February 22 <laughs> and continues through December 31st of this year. But that sparked a lot of uproar online, people wondering why the IRS would need to be armed. What do you say? Well, yeah, I, well, I, combined with the fact that there was, there was some release of information showing that the IRS uh, spent, you know, just, just south of a million dollars for ammunition earlier uh, this year. Uh, uh, again, it's, it's like, going it's like what they're doing. They, they, if, they, if they would just, it's whether it's the Mar-a-Lago, uh, you know, a raid and the notion that the FBI right, and the DOJ must have known uh, what this was going to cause, the firestorm that this would cause. So instead of saying we have to have our messaging straight, we have to be transparent uh, at the very beginning of this, uh, they don't. And, and still no real word. The IRS is doing the same thing, right? If you say you're going to expand your government agency by $80 billion, you should probably sit down and collectively come up with a message at the outset of this. They didn't do that, so they were playing cleanup like they always do. And then eventually, the Democratic operatives get a, a narrative out mm -hmm. there. And so the past couple of days, they've been out there saying, right. well, look, I mean, this is simply to go mm -hmm. after the wealthy. We haven't been able to because the IRS has been underfunded for all these decades right. and now we want to give it a boost in the arm so all they're going to do is go after the wealthy people sure. well that's ridiculous yeah, of course because a lot of estimates indicate that you know most of the money is going to come from middle class audits well that is uh, if the past is prologue that has certainly been the case and now the world's largest collection agency has a million dollars worth of ammo which i bet mike they will deduct just saying yeah. if they know what they're doing yeah i know i did i know i did look i mean who doesn't have a million dollars worth of ammo at their home you know my wife is getting upset because there's no place to store it anymore we understand uh, but the irs We're running is running out of closet yeah. space <laughs> well yeah i know but i've got a little part of it for my shirts and my That's jackets like right. this one and my pocket squares too don't forget yeah, my pocket sure. squares and don't forget just yeah. leave it by the fireplace yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always, yeah, and, and, and I try not to get the kids to smoke near it. That's also important. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank um, you, Mike. I Mark wish you had the qualifications to work in the sure. IRS, but you just have CIA in your background. We'll have to send you to an academy <laughs> or a shooting range. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.